Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will start making our URL shortener app in Python using Streamlit library. So first of all let's create here a new separate file. So just click on this file icon, give a name to your file and in this case I will go with like a URL underscore shortener shortener.py and then hit enter and this will create a simple python file so first of all we need to import our streamlet so just write here import import streamlit streamlet as st okay and uh, now let's create a basic interface for our url shortener okay so i will create a title first or maybe a markdown okay so just write here st dot mark markdown and then you uh you need to pass here your tags or every data so i will go with h1 tag okay so just close your h1 tag and here i will write url s h o r t n e r url shortener okay and let's change the styling okay so style is equals to and then t e x t text dash a l i g n align okay and i will make it center and i think I, okay so here you just need to write uh unsafe allow html to t are you true okay this will create a url shortener title something like that okay and then uh, beneath this thing i will have a form okay so here uh, i hope that uh, you know very well how to create forms so we have two different methods to create forms but uh, in this case i will not go with the with keyword form okay because there are some issues with that form for this application so you can try it okay and then you will obviously find those error by your own self okay so i will create here the uh, form object first okay and then i will use that object so just right here um, maybe form form is equals to st dot form form okay and then give a keyword okay so like uh, maybe something like enemy name okay and then i will say form form dot text text underscore input text input and here i will say url url h e r sorry h e r e url here okay and i will take input from the user and i will save that in this url variable okay so let's save it and now let's type here stream streamlit are you in run url underscore s h o r t n your shortener dot p y sorry dot p y and hit enter and let's see let's wait for the output okay so here we have a missing button okay so let's create a submit button here so just right here fom form dot fom form underscore s u b m i t submit underscore b u double t on button and i will say s h o r t short okay so let's save it and uh, let's rerun this thing and see and yeah here we have url here this is our text input okay and this is our submit button so user need to enter here url and then whenever user clicks on this short button we need to short that url so for this purpose i need an other python library or another python package which will allow me to short the url and uh, there are a bunch of methods to short the url so the first method is that uh, you can scrap uh, the bitly website or adfly website okay and uh, with the help of that scrapping you can actually short that particular url but i think it's a long process and uh, python has a library which allow us to short the url so i will go with the second method and that is to use the python library so you need to install here and other library so just open a new terminal and here you need to write pip pip i n s t a double l install and then the library which you will need is p y s h o r t pi short e n e r s pi shortener okay so then hit enter 
and uh, this is the library which you will need and as you can see i have already installed this library so after installation of this library if you are using vs code then obviously you need to restart your vs code but uh, i have already installed it so i do not need to restart my vs code okay so let's go to the previous terminal and here you need to import your pi short library okay so the name is quite big so just right here i am import import pi s h o r D E N E R Pi shorteners and uh, I will import it as P Y S T. Okay, so I hope that uh, this S T and sorry, let me write here Y and this Pi S T will not confuse you. Okay, so it is basically a Python shortener and this is stream lit okay so it's quite weird but yeah this is what it is so here uh, inside this uh, pi shortener uh, module we have a class known as shorteners so this shortener class basically allow us to uh, shorten the url so we need to actually instantiate that class first before we could uh, we can use the functions which are inside that class so just right here uh, s h o r t n e r any -E okay shortener uh, sorry not here uh, just right here s h o r t any -E shortener is equals to uh, p y s t dot s h o r t shortener okay so this is my class okay so first of all we need to instantiate it now inside this class uh, we have a bunch of uh, functions which basically allow us to uh, shorten our url okay so if you go to the official documentation of uh, uh, this module here you will find that uh, we have a bunch of uh, methods and apis which can be used to shorten the url so here we have edify bitly the documentation is very simple you just need to click on the api and this will show the interface like this and it will tell you how to use that api you need to have an api key okay which you will get by signing in on the official website and then you can request them and that they will send you the api okay and then you need to have a user id and then the demand okay and uh, same case with this uh, bitly you need to have api here and this uh, doesn't require any kind of uh, api okay and uh, this also doesn't require any kind of api and this uh, i think okay so it also require an api and here there are a bunch of options but the best option which i will use in this tutorial is uh, using this uh, what where is my tiny url so i will use this api tiny url api which doesn't require any kind of api and it's free and easy to use okay and the process is very straightforward first of all you need to instantiate that class okay and then uh, this this is the line which will allow us to short the url so we will implement this line here so just open the vs code again and now here first of all uh, i will save the state of my button okay inside this uh, uh, s underscore uh, btn variable okay and i will check that if s underscore btn is true that this means that if someone has clicked on this button i need to implement all other functions okay so first of all we need to short the url okay so i will say s h o r t d shorted underscore url is equals to and then i will say s h o r t n here shortener okay so this shortener basically refers to this uh, shortener class okay so shortener dot t i n y tiny url dot s h o r t short okay and then inside these uh, rounded brackets i need to pass my actual url and in this case my actual url will be this okay so i am getting it from the user so just write here url okay and uh, for now now just print this uh, shorted url so just write here print and then s h o r t d shorted url okay let's save it and uh, just come to the uh, application let's refresh it okay and uh, for example just copy this url copy it and uh, paste it here i uh, just short it it's running and just open the terminal and yeah here is our shorted url so it's very very cool so just copy this url okay sorry just uh, copy it okay and uh, just uh, paste it in a new tab
and yeah this is our url so as you can see our url is working 100 percent fine okay and i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will actually display our url here which is quite an easy process but we will do an other new thing and that is we will create here a copy button and whenever user clicks on that copy button we need to copy the shorted url to the clipboard and we will do this process in the next tutorial so i will see you there Till that point, bye-bye.